Yes, and uh, so, you know, when I say we, we hope we can help people, and that's what I think about a lot, and, and another story came back to me of a gentleman, an older gentleman, and I never thought of this, that he, his daughter had a keepsake made for him, and um, he was thrilled with it, but then he said to his daughter sometime after, he said, you know, I've been feeling so guilty that I couldn't get to the cemetery to see your mom. And she hadn't thought of it. It isn't something I would have thought of, but that's it exactly. Most of us do not live in the towns and villages and cities in which we were born, but we want to keep that connection. Who goes to a cemetery anymore? Not many people. So therefore, he said, I feel so close to your mom again that I have this right here on my windowsill. I can chat with her. She's here with me. So that's the point of it, and that's what we do, and, and that's why I say when I'm, I'm very happy to share this with you, I'm happy to be able to, um, to maybe offer some assistance. Certainly not for everybody, but those that are, are looking for that connection or maybe pass it on to your friends, and, and that's what I do. I walk out and, and think about these things. And uh, when I came in the other night, I had an email, and it made me feel so happy. A lady had taken time to source through her old emails, and she said, I just had to tell you that about two years ago, I had an echo stone made in memory of my mom. And her words exactly were, I love it to pieces. To me, it just doesn't get any better than that. So thanks for your time. Uh, I hope you get to enjoy a bit of the scenery around here. And um, call me anytime with chat. Thank you.